If you think you're holding a, a slight bit of don't hold information, just say it to their face and trust me, more people will respect you for it. What do you think? <laughs> I'm an assembly. <laughs> I'm an assembly. Correct me if I'm my my password. I've had crazy feelings for this person. I thought I was letting them disrespect me. Oh my god! Between you two. Well, he's disrespecting the case. I'm just like. Oh. Don't know. Do you think there's a truth in that though? Also, Paige, he disrespects you to your face. I'm confused as to why you would use To your face! To your face! With his whole chest! To your face! Yeah, one person have them all at your party and they didn't care about each other. Ah! They didn't care about each other. No, you're not. Well, you're cheating on me because you have a handshake of India. Well, now this is disrespect. Hey guys, it's Parab Rali, back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Consistent and persistent baby injected. I have a guest with me today, guys. I have a beautiful guest, Coco Sorrell. Hey! <laughs> hey, 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 thanks for having me. You know what? Thanks for gracing me your presence. Stop. Stop <laughs> it. No, we're a good team. I like we this. We actually are, you know. Come we're on, gonna... Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> Don't kill me, please. It's too early. The video is too early. Please, let's okay. okay. Woo! Now, for those of you who don't know who Coco Sorrell is, I'm pretty sure you would want to know who she is. Her TikTok will be in the bio below where she does Love Island reviews and I feel like her reviews are amazing. And finally, we've teamed up because many people have asked and Lots. I'm on her TikTok, she's on my TikTok. We're gonna make a separate TikTok video. We're here on YouTube, guys. Plenty of Love Island content. So definitely go and check this all out. Now, before we do get into this video, this video is sponsored by Frontline Therapist. If you guys don't know what they are, they are a mental health company that provide affordable and accessible mental health care for everybody involved, but especially black and brown individuals, which I think is very important. Use my discount code below. It is in the bio below, guys. Frontline Therapist. Thank you very much. Now, let's get into this video where I don't even know where, to be, where we can begin, to be honest with you, because we have so many people. This Casa Amor situation is really ripping everything apart. Listen. The villa is really upside down. I don't know what's happened in the last 48 hours, but madness has hit the villa. And we haven't seen Samuel once until now. <laughs> My dear Samuel. And this is what you came to what say? What happened? This is what he came to say. No, he said I want violence. Yeah. He knew his time was coming to an end. No, he, he made her cry. No, no. <laughs> a lot as well. And they were all Stop. saying they're listening to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was um, it was a lot. One lecture, lot. as if... It was. But what he was saying was true. He was very true, though. It was very honest. Very honest. No lie detected. Uh, I was here for it. No common sense, he no. said. <laughs> Your common sense is fleeting. He said it's gone. It's finished. <laughs> No, Sam, why did you do that? Answer for your sins, why did you do that? And the way Paige didn't even ask. Paige was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, look, like she, didn't, she wasn't even looking for advice. Oh. These Casamor boys and girls are very messy. They are, they are. They are here to cause some kind of ruckus. And I'm not mad, because at first I thought maybe they're not as, you know, good looking enough here and there, people mm. have these thoughts. But personality wise, they're very messy, they're here for it, they're giving us content. And some, I think the best Casamor bunch in a while in terms of content. I think so. 
Because I've never seen Casamore people come in for the OG people like no, this. And off the rip. It's not like a little time has gone by. Like, literally, the girls came in and straight off the bat were like, Tasha this, Tasha that. I was like, well, okay. Crazy. Not, not me giving you guys a Love Island interview today and also a Love Island beautiful guest on the show. Talk about content, guys. Quality content. Quality content. And if there's time, we'll probably go live as well for a quick 20 Ooh. minutes as well. Just to like, you know, see everybody's real thoughts in real time. So as soon as this video is up, 10 minutes after that, we'll go live quickly for a bit. But yeah, I, I was initially thinking that, you know, Jax, what's going on with you? We didn't see you yesterday moving to anybody or the day mm. before. But now we're seeing you as in you're jumping in the pool with one person and then you're flirting with another. It's not even the same blonde. No, 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 but it's messy. It's so messy. What? My whole thing with Jax is, I knew this was going to happen. Okay. I was waiting for it. Because I feel like you can only act up until a certain point. Mm. And yeah, I feel like yesterday with Dammy, he felt like he was given the green flag. Right. And now he's like, actually, I'm going to move mad. Basically. If Dammy's going to do it, I'm allow me to join it. the camp. Yeah. I think... Uh, uh, to be fair, I'm also here for it because... You know, I didn't really like him and Paige together anyway. I never did. I thought I, it was quite random. I, it was odd. And as, as soon as he said the word pathetic out of his mouth, <sighs> I was over it. I was done with it. And the, the problem was with Paige, he disrespected you so much, you went back and now look at you. You're shedding tears. Dehydrating yourself. Besotted. A, imagine. Lost. Over Jax. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. You're a whole paramedic, but this is what you're... It's a shame. It really is a shame. It's a shame. And yeah, no, no, no. Mm -mm. As in he was in the pool, throwing them together, hugging each other. And for both of them, he was very eager. He was the one pushing more than the girls. Well, who's the other girl? Is it Cheyenne? Cheyenne, Cheyenne and Molly. Cheyenne was like, I don't want to put time into you. Mm, I didn't good. expect that. And he was like, well, I'm not saying that, am I? I was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bear strong. Oh, okay. Relax. Calm down. Take the car, take the key out of the car, right? step out and just chill, chill, man. Chill. Yeah, he was doing a lot this episode. A lot. A lot. He really took the main screen time playing around, but I, I'm not surprised. I was expecting it. Yeah. That was something that wasn't unpredictable for me when it comes to Jax's behavior. No. 110%. No. But you know I'm surprised by Jay? The one Jay who dropped Egg and Super Page, then was flowing with Antigone, and now you're the one being the best behaved. Really? You were... Surprise. Really? I just thought that maybe him dropping Egg and Super Page so quickly was weeding me out. Really? I was thinking, why would you do that? Because she was in the villa for a whole week and you didn't do anything. And suddenly now, after being the bottom three with Egg and Super, you wanted to run with Paige. And now mm. he's well behaved. Now I like him in China. Now they're having good conversations. Mm. They're going slow. He could have entertained multiple girls because he can. He can. Sorry, he can. <laughs> Let me cut your breath. <laughs> what kind of show is this? <laughs> well, um... <laughs> It's fine. Um, yeah, no, not that kind of show. But he, <laughs> he, I wasn't that surprised, and I'll tell you why. Hit me. Talk to me. With Ekin Sue, I felt like he jumped into the villa, he got wrapped up in the whirlwind of Love Island, mm. and then he realized, like, oh, wait, I'm trying to find, like, a connection here, I think. Right. And then took a step back and was like, who else in the villa do I want to get to know? Mm. And I felt like, because Ekin Sue was like, you've played me, da da da. Because they both were intense very quickly, right. unnecessarily. Right. So I think I wasn't too surprised by that. Okay. But I am. I didn't think China was his type. I'm here for it, but mm. I, I didn't see that. He did pick Amber initially for a date. He did. So he did actually. And and they do bounce off each other in a weird, nice way. I like it. I saw a tweet saying that they are very much like a Chelsea couple or Westminster couple, and they can see the pics. And Not Westminster. I can I can kind of see it. <laughs> I can you know, they do. They do look very cute. They do. They do. I mean, Jay's boring though. Like, I, no, no tea, no shade. Right. He's just very like blase, just, chill. Yeah. And that's back. okay. And that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Not everyone can be Davide and I can see. I don't know what's going on with Andrew though. Andrew and Coco. Coco is very flirtatious. She's a very flirty type of girl, and I think she's now worrying that oh, do you only like me for one part of me? Do you want to know more of me? Like, she was kind of worried in that conversation. She was, but I was also quite confused. I mean... That whole thing was, didn't make any sense to me. I've never been more confused after hearing two people speak together. Because Coco, number one, yes, she is very flirty. But I think she knows what she's doing. She wants to get onto mm. the... Main villa. Yeah. Quickly. And stay. You know, she's seen that PLT deal. Fine. From a very long distance. Okay. But the whole conversation was weird. Because I feel like maybe Andrew's now seeing that him and... 
Paige have more emotional. Do you think that's why he was crying? In the, I think, to, to, the I think so. <sighs> These people go back and forth every single minute, man. I think Just so. Just pick somebody at this point. <sighs> uh, but then he might come back alone and Tasha's out here kissing Billy the Goat. <laughs> Not Billy the Goat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Behave. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> Listen, Tasha's lips in this boy, Tasha confuses me, but I also, <laughs> I feel like she's confused. She's not into Angela like that, because every new man comes in, she's confused. Her head turns constantly. She's getting whiplash from the amount of head turns she's getting. Huge whiplash. It's, it's, a, it's a lot. It it's a lot. It's a lot. And yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I am happy that I don't want her and Andrew to be together. I like Andrew a lot. and I, I do like, like Andrew a lot. Yeah. yeah. He grew on me. He grew on me too. I was, I was thinking this. Yeah, yeah. At the beginning, I was like, mm. Mm, Yeah. Mm. But, but now, he grew on me. He grew, he, I like he him. I like him a lot. And I do think that him and Coco won't even last probably. I feel like Coco's really using him. But at this point, can you? any customer person is going to be on a motive just to get in the main villa. Yeah. Yeah. Like, very much of a motive. I don't see... Also, where was Ronan Keaton's son? Oh my God. No, please. <laughs> is it just me or does he look 14? Because I feel like, I don't know what happened there, but did he have to get parental consent to be on the show? Because he was very young. He was very young. But where was he? I think your dad is Ronald Keaton. Maybe he's taking his GCSEs or something. And that's the villain. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he Signing is. consent forms at this point. Because <laughs> where, where, where was this boy? Where was he? He needs to be more like Samuel. Cause drama and you, you'll find yourself I'm on the show. I'm actually confused because he was having a conversation with Gemma and I thought that they can't violate Ronan Keane's son like this. No. I thought they would bring Ronan Keane's son back in. Imagine the parents come in and you see Michael Owen and, and Ronan Imagine. his production ratings. It's clever, but I don't think that's going to happen now because where was he today? And who can he... I don't he... even see him in the background. Who would take him though? Exactly, that's the issue. There's no real interest there. Unless Paige has these doubts and starts talking to somebody like him. Because Billy is off the cards. Maybe. Because they got friend zoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know. Maybe. And his problem with Billy is he friend zoned her back, so it's not even like he can jump mm. back. He only friend zoned her back to save his ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was very much interested. Very, very. Like, yeah, embarrassing. He did it. So. Yeah, a little smooth, but we, could, but we could tell. We saw. We saw. It's, okay. just, it's, it's totally fine. Yeah. Um, then we have Summer and Dami doing the handshakes. <sighs> Dami is smooth, you know, but he is he he's not smooth to us because we see him moving to different girls the same way. But um, he is a smooth talker. He is. He and I said this before. I feel like Dami is a good person, hmm. a great friend, hmm. just probably not the best guy in a relationship. Definitely not. And there are people like that, and I feel like that's because that whole handshake thing. I would feel some type of way if I was Indian and I knew he made a handshake with What's, the girl he's known for 40 years. And at the end of the handshake, what did they do? They kissed. They kissed. Nah. I, Again. No. Do but I have mug on my forehead? Huh? Do I have mug on my forehead? M-U-G. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 no, no, no. I feel away. I and feel then away. he's justified it with, oh, you know, I put a wall up in the bed. Because spooning is more intimate. What, what are you talking about? And me, I don't want a wall up. All those pillars. I need to sleep No, no. I want to sprawl my legs. I want to, you know. I don't, I don't, yeah. Dami's, I'm, I'm sad that this is the route he's gone down, mm. but. Do you think India will bring back Deji? At the moment, no. Yeah. I think if the postcard comes in and there's a picture of Dami and Summer, yes. When is this, po- it didn't, we didn't see in the teaser. That means they're dragging out Casa Amor for a yeah. while now. Probably wouldn't be much longer for, for the weekend. They wouldn't do customer recoupling on a weekday. It doesn't make sense to me. They would do it on a, a Friday, Friday, Sunday. Or, yeah, Friday or Sunday. They're going to split it, like last year's. Oh, they yeah. They split that. Because it's like festivals and whatever. They split the yes. days now for money. Yes. They split this now for... They won't do it all in one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For viewing. Yeah, for viewing. Yeah, yeah. They'll maybe make it a little bit longer or something, but that's what they'll do. Mm. Yeah, that's They want to drag do. this out for the entire end of the week. That's what they're going to do. do Which who is... do you think will not turn from the girls? From the girls, I think Gemma's gonna stay. Mm, and Ekansu. I think Ekansu's gonna stay. Um, I thought Ekansu would have done a while one. I thought she would have brought back five men and Sanjay from production or something like that. <laughs> but she didn't bring back anybody. <laughs> Not Sanjay. <laughs> I thought she would have brought back a lot of people. But, but she said, you know what, let me remain loyal. Also, who can she bring back? No Screaming. offense to the Screaming. boys, none whatsoever. But who. I too would bring no one back. Just saying. And I'm single. I, I you know, I'm just, I, I, you know, I lie. I'd bring Deji back. That's a lie. Let me not. Deji has good chat. No, no, no I'd, I'd bring Deji back. But Tokyo is very much a city, guys. 
Why did he do that to us? Even India did it. They both did it. Why did they do? But I feel like, yeah, no, yeah, 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 no. That was that was embarrassing. But it's okay. It's okay. It was just chat. It wasn't it's that fine. serious. Fine. But it was fine. In terms of the guys, who do you think is Jack's a definitely talent? I feel. Do you think? I think it is because the, the, you're flirting with two girls like this, <gasps> and they're gonna come back single and everything's gonna be fine. This is the thing. Even if they don't recouple and come back single, there's still gonna be a ruckus because they all flirt with other girls and kiss other girls. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like. I'm I'm split. I don't okay. know with Jax. I feel like he wants to have fun, but then mm. he's gonna remember that 50k and be like, no, let me let me get my head back in the game. Mm, yeah, and pair back with with Paige. But um, you never know. When they left before Casamore, they weren't in the bottom three. No, they were saved. Yeah, so they probably still think that they're good together. Yeah. So I think that's probably playing on the back of his mind. I don't think Paige is gonna recouple. No. Nah. She's definitely gonna remain loyal. I think so. Especially with more of the doubts that she's gotten from King Samuel. I all hail King Samuel. Like, not even... That's the thing about Casimore's mad because we're seeing Casimore people not even getting airtime for moving to people. They're getting airtime for dragging other people. For stirring. What the hell is going no. on? No. No. I'm intrigued when everybody gets to, the, gets to the villa and they hear about this or they see this stuff. I feel like Luca's gonna snitch big, big time. time. Luca's gonna have a sit down As meeting. in pillow talk. Like, <laughs> Gemma will know the ins and outs of everyone All day of by them. day, hourly accounts. All of them are like, you know... Pillow talk, yeah. attire, yeah, yeah, including yeah. Luca, and they yeah. will just sit there on the terrace, and Luca will spill the beans to Gemma, and Gemma will carry it. Yeah, and Gemma will carry it. And when hears it, she's running around the villa for days with 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 a megaphone. Okay, so prediction, customer. I think China's returning for Jay. Yes, hundred ten percent. Hundred. Um, Billy the goat coming back. Coming back with yeah. Tasha. Um, Coco, I think. Well, we'll see from tomorrow. But I'm a. I'm a mm. I. <sighs> Based on tonight's episode, she will. Based on, on the tomorrow, preview yeah. and tomorrow, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. It's hard to tell. Who else? Summer, I think, should come back. I want her to come back. You do? Absolutely. Because you can't be kissing and doing all this handshake nonsense malarkey as if we're in year nine and then you don't want to bring her back. True. Like, I now want to see... And she's the one who was very confident with... You know, so I want to see her confidence in the main villa. True, so true She should true. come back. Do I think Summer and India and Summer and, and Dami will last? No. No, I don't think so. I think and Dami gets on better with India than he does with Summer. I think so. I understand that the yeah, connection yeah. is better there more with Dami in India. But I think that she should come back now because you can't be doing that kissing, kissing, and yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I agree. And if, and if you do that, then at the, like last year, you need to expose them there. And then, they've seen last year's castle more. They know that Lily exposed Lily. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. So you, that will happen to you. Yeah, yeah. By fire no, and by should. force, that will definitely happen to you. Yeah, so you yeah, can't yeah. be running, running your mouth like that. Yeah, Dami should bring some back. Dami should bring some back. And yeah. then I think that... Um, I don't know if Deji will come. I don't think India will be mad, Deji. I don't think so. It's early days though still, man. I feel like this week is really long. I feel like, depending on the postcard, mm. if they've got a picture of Dami kissing Summer, India's going to bring back Deji. Basically. And they did the postcard last year, so why wouldn't they do it this year? Yeah. Uh, but you know what they did last year? They twisted stuff to look like... Things. Yeah, with the fame Teddy stuff. Yeah. They twisted that. So I feel like they may... Do they even need to at this point? Because everyone's moving mad. But they may conceal what Dami... They may not give all the tea of what Dami's done. Ooh. They may hold some back. And then it'll get revealed somewhere like a movie Exactly. Night. Exactly. So we will Listen, see. Listen, this producer, Sanjay, Meredith, all of them... Hey! Coco's here. Listen. <laughs> I'm here. Hi, she me. is here. Hire her, hire me, hire both of us. Ready, right? Ready for the chaos. Like, <laughs> Ready for the chaos. We, want, but we don't want any challenges with the food. No. Nobody asked for that. No. But what would you do if you were in Love Island and this, this was your time to do the challenge and you really have to swallow carrot juice to put it in someone's mouth? Honestly, I... I would you do it? I would. <laughs> you know what my problem is though? No, do, do you know what my problem is? I'm so competitive that the thought of like, and I know it's disgusting, but like, I'm happy to break a hip for a challenge. Okay, about food, not breaking hips. No, 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 listen, but that's how competitive I am. I'll, I'll just be like, it's a game, I'm competitive, let's do it, I've got to win this. I know, I know, sorry mum. My parents would be so disgusted, but. That would be, they're not gonna lie, would be funny to watch. I feel like the. Would you go love if you approached? Hell no. <laughs> Hell to the. Me, I'll never go. I want you to, I don't care what the price tag is. Never. It takes a certain type of someone and I'm not her. I'm not big mm. enough. And I'm mm. woman enough to, to own up to it. No, 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 no. I can see you on Love Island though. Me? Mm. I feel like you'd be a good contestant. Don't you think? Me, I'll be crawling as well. <laughs> 
I can sleep up too. I'll be crawling, I'll mm. be doing cartwheels. Mm. But I don't know why everybody's jumping in the pool like this because this needs to relax because me, I can't even swim properly. No, 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 no. no. Can you ride a bike? Yeah. Okay, cool. I can ride a bike. Okay, I was going to say. Can you drive? Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you drive? Yeah, I can drive. Okay. These are like not the you trying things. to judge me. <laughs> I've been like, oh really? <laughs> oh okay. The first driving, I did, I failed the first driving test. Same. So I was in a roundabout situation, and there was a big lorry in front of me. So the driving instructor had to grab the wheel, and <laughs> because I was driving into the lorry, <laughs> and the old lady stopped the car, and I said, "Did I pass?" And she said, "No, you didn't." That story would there never see then. the light of day if that was my story. What? Because she had to grab the wheel. I was seventeen, but she had to grab the wheel. To be fair, mine had to press the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> In, in, huh? so in I put my, my, mine is even worse. They I put was in your. They feared for their lives. They pressed the brakes. Oh, they put their own brakes. Yeah. I put, I put no, my, imagine they're climbing. Up to, no, no, no. It's not that bad. Jeez, no. She had to press her own brake. She said, "I can't die." I said, "Okay, I hear it." I too wanted to press the brake. I just got scared. Where were you going? It was, you know, when you've got to go in and out of traffic, like parked cars. Yeah. So there was a car coming, and I was like, "Oh, he's gonna give me way," and he didn't. And then I was just like, "I'm not." I'm not stopping, competitive. I'm not stopping, you're gonna stop. And she was like, well, we're gonna crash. I'm gonna press the brake. And I was like, oh. And then the thing is, this was like five minutes into my test. So I had to do the whole test knowing I had failed. Oh my days. Knowing I had failed. So I was like, what is the point? Fast and Furious 10. Coco's here, guys. Coco's ready. around. She's ready. here and she's ready. Ready. For me on the way back, it was just pure silence. Was it? Didn't even speak. Oh. She was pissed off with me. Really? Oh. She really had to grab the wheel with two hands because no, because you got she's got brakes on her side. She's had a wheel on her side. She had to lunge over. Yeah. No. Oh, it's okay. Well, they have it, guys. But we I did are. pass the second time. So, yeah, it's fine. And I'm good. I can drive. Can you drive? I don't know if you can, can you? Can you? We live and we learn. We live and we learn, mm-hmm. guys. Anyways, I'm excited for tomorrow's episode. Same. I think today was good. I thought so. Would you? Are you enjoying the season? Hundred percent. I think it's one for the books. Hundred percent. It's up there with season two and season five. However, if they were to take Ek and Sue out of the equation, I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much. Mm, but I, I do think that this week Ek and Sue is not carrying, which is nice no, to see. No, which is nice to see. Nice to see. Yeah, yeah. It's everybody else. Every, everyone's carrying their weight we need now. That, we need that ensemble situation because if mm-hmm. it was still Ek and Sue this week, I'd be like, it's great TV, but let's have more. Yeah. So that, I think, is very good. Yeah. I feel like the boys have given us a lot of ammunition, so Ek and Sue can rest. Right. The boys are messy this year. Messy. OG and not OG. Yeah. Both of them are. And I like messy. that. I, I like Luke it. and Jax being the messy little two boys. Right? And Dami as well, they were a messy trio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that whole Luca and Dami thing yesterday, mm. I was like, ooh. Mm. That's cool. Do you think Davide would recouple? Because again, we don't see him do much this episode. I don't think he will. I don't think he will either. I think mm. him and Ekansu have a good connection in terms of the way they chat and talk. Mm. I don't think he'll recouple. But his ego may get the better of him if he thinks Ekansu will. Mm couple i've said this before to people but when it, if i was in casa more mm. and i was doing the recouple situation and my partner came back with somebody i would just faint i think that would be dramatic and then there'll be a sky view that would camera be so going up to good. the sky and there's me on the ground and like there's like a and e emergency coming to run or something like oh this. no that would be so cinematic i mean if you're gonna get a moment have that moment have that moment just pretend Ooh, to faint that's good i don't know what i would do if i was if i was imagine if you were in that position like amber michael and that happened to you i would be the thing is, what can you do? What, what, what can, can you, you do? do? But I, I would, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even because it's a lot, man. Love Island. Yeah, this is a lot. Man. It's a lot. I like the fainting thing, though. That's good. The who? The fainting. That's amazing. I like that. Fantastic and scene. I like that. <laughs> and scene. That's it. Come back tomorrow night. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Who's your favorite? Person or couple? Person. Favorite. Person. And then couple. It's got to be Ekinsu. Okay. It's got to be. I, I love her. Love I can see. I love her. Favorite couple. For me, it would have been Dami and India, but not anymore. Same. Dami and India. I, but I also... like Dami and India more than I can see Dami And when they were both in their yeah, prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. But I kind of like Luca and Gemma. Ooh. I, I, Gemma's really grown on me. She has grown on me, and I love her relationship with Ekansu. It's like yeah, it's really good. And I just like the fact that her and Ekansu are the same. They just don't care what people think. Right. And will stand true to what they believe. Mm. Luca, sometimes I have moments with him where I'm like, oh, why are you doing this? But I like them as a couple, I think. Yeah, I do. It's good. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Episode 26, Coco Sorrell has joined me once again. Her TikTok, her Instagram, everything will be in the bio below, guys. And 
this was a great episode to review. I feel like this Such was great. Wrap this up. We didn't even do any like cuts, pauses, no. nothing. All just like flowed naturally. We bounce off one another. We babes. do bounce off each other quite we well. Do. do you know what I mean? We like, do. We, we both have that charisma. Mm -hmm. We work well. We, we work, work well. very well. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Daily and consistent, guys. Can you just say daily and consistent? Daily and consistent. consistent. Yes, baby. Like, comment, yeah. share, and, and subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you. Boom. Inject it, guys. Purr. Inject it. <laughs> this, not this cat noise. Why do you hate my cat noises? Purr. No? No. Purr. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. No. Anyways, guys, subscribe <laughs> to the channel. Click that button. And we will catch you guys soon for another video.